In the last topic, we understood that Griffith, through his experiments, explained transformation and transformation principle. And uh, after that, three other persons, that is Oswald, Maclean, then MacLeod, they proved that, uh, they tried to prove that the real genetic material is DNA and not RNA or proteins. But still, there was doubt regarding whether the genetic material is DNA or proteins. DNA and protein are genetic material. This confusion was there. So, it was proved beyond doubt that DNA is the genetic material by another two persons. They are Alfred Hershey and Martha Chase. This topic is very important for the exam. Always this question is asked. When you study the name also, you have to study the full name. That is Alfred Hershey and Martha Chase. Tell us a question about Alfred and Martha's experiment. And then Hershey and Chase experiment. So you have to clearly learn the names. Full name you have to learn. Then this experiment is called as or considered to be unequivocal proof for DNA as genetic material. Unequivocal means beyond doubt. Without doubt they confirm that DNA is genetic material. It's also un, uh, explained as the experiment proving biochemical nature of genetic material. Now we will come to their experiment. So their experimental tool was bacteriophages. Now we should know what are bacteriophages. Bacteriophages are actually viruses that attack bacteria. Okay, so this is the shape of bacteriophage and this is how they attack a bacteria. So this is a virus which attack bacteria. So in this picture, this is the virus and that is the bacteriophage and this is the bacteria. So when a bacteriophage infect a bacteria, what it does is it attaches to the body of bacteria, then it will inject its genetic material, whatever it be, whether it's protein or it's DNA, into the host, that is the bacterial cell, inside the bacterial cell. Now, this is how, that's a mode of infection of bacteriophages. So, they used bacteriophages as their experimental tool. Now, what they did is, so by their experiment or through their experiment, they demonstrated that viral replication inside bacterial cell is by DNA and not by protein. <clears throat> like all other viruses, the viruses becomes active and show the sign of life that is replication or reproduction only when it enter inside a host cell. But here are in the, this here also same way. So when the bacteriophage or the virus enters a bacterial cell, it will use the machinery of the host cell, that is the bacterial cell, to make its own copies or replica and increase in number. That's how they do. Okay, so now Atrinaru basic RNA. Now they develop two types of bacteriophages. One group of bacteriophages, they grow in a medium containing radioactive sulfur. They have chosen radioactive sulfur because all proteins in our body, <clears throat> that is all proteins are made up of 20 different amino acids. So all proteins in our body will contain sulfur. Sulfur is an important component in all type of protein. But all proteins lack phosphorus. Phosphorus is completely absent in proteins. So they selected radioactive sulfur so that all the proteins in the body of bacteriophage will become radioactively labeled. Other radioactive act. We need to radioactivity check So they are a group of bacteriophages, a type of bacteriophage. They grow in a radioactive sulfur containing medium so that its body will get, that is wherever protein is there, that will get radioactively labeled. So they grow in sulfur. Another group was grown in radioactive phosphorus. So phosphorus is an important part. We know phosphate groups are there in DNA. So phosphorus is present in DNA but it is completely absent in protein. So another group of bacteriophages they developed with radioactive phosphorus label. Okay. So wherever DNA is present that part will be radioactively labeled with phosphorus. And there are two types of development. Now they conducted the experiment. The experiment consisted of 
four important steps. The first step is called as infection. Infection is one of them. They are developing the random type bacteriophages. They are allowed to infect bacteria in two different separately. Right? E type radioactive sulfur labeled bacteriophages ne or group of bacteria infect here hello chedo. Radioactive phosphorus label chedo ne kina bacteriophages ne where or group of bacteria infect here right? Abra hello chedo. The next step is blending or agitating using a kitchen blender. Now you mix it. Mix it with your enzyme agitate it. Like blend it. Blend it and the reason is that bacteriophage bacteria infect it. Now that is genetic material whether it is protein or DNA. It is infected. It is injected inside the bacterial cell. But the protein coat will remain outside the bacterial cell like this. In this picture you are seeing that the viral genetic material, whatever it is, it is inside the bacterial cell. But the protein coat is outside the bacterial cell. To separate the protein coat from the bacterial cell, that is viral or the phage protein coat from the bacterial cell, they do agitation or blending. Okay. So blending is the chain in the bacteria part the pitichinikina. A bacteriophage, that is the virus in the protein coat, that is the separate chain. Then the next step was centrifugation. But centrifuge chain by the button, light things will be on top. And we centrifuge chain by the third and the sediment of the supernatant. And the supernatant is a light type of sediment. Heavy things will be in the sediment part. So as we know the viral coats are lighter than the bacterial cell. But naturally viral coats cell and supernatant liver whereas bacterial cells will be there in the cell. But either under separate and the centrifuge either. And either radioactive for sulfur label the bacteriophages infect either. Our mixture name centrifuge either. And the radioactive phosphor label either bacteriophage infect either bacterial and our culture name our centrifuge either. Then they checked for radioactivity. Radioactivity ki check kiru. Check kiru pa they understood that the bacteria which were infected by radioactively labeled phosphorus bacteriophages only showed radioactivity. What does it mean? It means that our radioactively labeled phosphorus radioactively labeled bacteriophages in the DNA is no radioactively labeled either. அப்பா, அது இப்பா, எப்படியா இட்டுண்டு, bacterial cell இந்த அகத்தா இட்டுண்டு. Whereas, radioactively sulfur labeled bacteriophages could not produce radioactivity inside the bacterial cells. That means that proteins were not transferred to the bacterial cell. The thing that is transferred to the bacterial cell is DNA and not the proteins. Thus they proved that or thus they proved beyond doubt that is unequivocal they proved that the biochemical nature of genetic material is DNA and it is not protein because here the bacteriophages could not transmit protein to bacteria. They could only transmit DNA to bacterial cells. So that is this experiment.